Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to take a quick look at how we can convert a dotted decimal subnet mask into prefix notation. In other words, if I'm looking at a mask that is 255, 255, 255.192, how can I quickly figure out that if I wanted to write that in slash notation or prefix notation, it would be a slash 26. Well, the answer is pretty simple. It goes back to the basics and how well you can memorize and understand the basics. By the basics here, we mean the decimal value that's associated with e each bit position in an octet. So every octet's the same, right? It has the same formula. There are a total of eight bit positions in each octet, and each one has a corresponding decimal value. And so really all we do is when you see something like this, we add up the positions that have a one in them, namely these two, in order to get 192. So enable, in order to master this, you really need to be comfortable with these bit position values and how quickly you can go in either direction. So let's take a look at a few examples. And so this is a good way to practice. On the top, we've written out all of the possible decimal values for each of the bit positions. And then we've simply listed an octet eight times, and we've filled out all the possible values for a given octet. And so when you see a 128 in a subnet mask octet, you should immediately know that only one bit position has a one in it and the rest are zeros. And then just work your way down this list. A 192 has to mean there are two. A 224 has to mean there are three because we're adding up these three values, so on and so forth. So you should get to the point where if you're looking at just the binary or just the decimal, you can convert in your head what the value is going to be. That is the best way to know it. That, that means you understand the fundamentals of binary and the values and, and decimal so well that you're not going to have to rely on any charts or calculators in order to get your answers. And that's key when you're in a work position or in an exam position and you don't have a lot of time to come up with the answer. So these are a few examples. How do we work through these? Well, the easy octets are the 255s. We immediately know that every position has a 1 in it. So whenever you see a 255, you just immediately think of an 8. So if we're working through this example, we have eight right away. From memorizing and from practicing, we know that four bit positions are filled out here. So this equals a slash 28. And then if we were to move on to the next one, we take care of the easy octets first. Eight plus eight, we know from memorizing and from experience that this means two bits are ones in the in the subnet mask. So here we have a slash 18. Here's one that's a bit harder. We start with the easy octet of 8 and then we take a look at this and quite simply we know that there are 6 here to equal a slash 14. Now why is that simple? Purely from memorization. That's what it comes down to. Finally, we can look at this last example like this and know that that's a slash 30. Okay, so unfortunately, unless you want to rely on carrying around a chart with you or a calculator of some kind, you're going to have to memorize these values. And really, it's just practicing. The more you do it, because there are only so many possible values, you'll get to um, memorize and get familiar with each of the different possibilities. Okay, so that's it. That's how we convert dotted decimal subnet masks into prefix notation. As always, practice IP addressing every day. Thanks for watching.